so a cute story happened a few years back. A student approached his professor in Stanford University and said to him, you know, it's the Jewish New Year in a couple weeks on Wednesday. Uh, I need permission to take off. And his professor looked at him and said, well, you know, it's a regular day of class. There's no way you can get off. He said, I'm really sorry. It's in the Jewish calendar. He said, calendar? Don't you realize that Stanford has created its academic calendar 10 years in advance already? <coughs> We've planned our classes. It's, it's impossible. So the Jewish student said, you know, professor, give me one minute. He ran to his dorm. 15 minutes later, he came back with what we actually have, which is a 2,000-year Jewish calendar choreographed by the great Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai, <coughs> which sets up all Jewish holidays for the next 2,000 years. And he said, Dear Professor, I respect the 10-year calendar of Stanford, but Rosh Hashanah has been scheduled on this Wednesday 2,000 years ago. A little respect. It's difficult this year. Rosh Hashanah, Sukkot, a lot of the Jewish holidays are on weekdays, and it's tough. There's so much going on. And America, sadly, is not closing business, closing the world for Rosh Hashanah. But I have one message to you. It's your Jewish New Year. If you won't celebrate it, who will? If you won't stop from the day-to-day -day grind to coronate God as King and to make this another incredible year, there's no one else that will do it. And so, don't let the world change your calendar. Let your calendar, the Jewish calendar, change the world. Take off Rosh Hashanah for a few hours. Be there. Hear the blasts of the shofar. Celebrate your Jewish holidays. And be a part of this incredible legacy of the Jewish people. Thank you.